good evening deepthi good evening sir so you know the purpose of this meeting right so you will uh, share your experience about uh, iit uh, rookie uh, for like for the subject uh, psychology so first of all uh, give a brief introduction about yourself so that my viewers will get uh, some sense about you okay so yes sir. yes uh, so uh, my name is deepthi singh and i am from aligarh uttar pradesh and i have done my bachelor's and masters in psychology from aligarh muslim university and in this year i have qualified ugc grs and gate exam both exams in the same subject so uh, psychology and because of my keen interest in research and teaching i am aspiring to pursue phd and specifically in my research interest uh, which is uh, which revolves around cognitive psychology and recently i appeared for phd interview for iit rooki right great so uh, what was the overall process first of all tell me uh, the uh, inter was the interview was online or offline so the interview was offline okay great so uh, now tell my viewers that uh, what was uh, the overall process of iit rooki for uh, the subject uh, psychology for phd uh, so so just like other institutions um, other iits iit roorkee also uh, releases the phd application forms based on the presence and vacancy of the seats twice right. a year uh, for the autumn semester and for the spring semester so i applied for the spring semester and the forms were released uh, around in mid of october and mm -hmm. 4th of november was the last date for filling the application form so i right. filled the application form and it was a very simple uh, form and uh, very basic details were asked we were not uh, in the form uh, there was uh, we were not asked to submit any sop or uh, research proposal uh, basic mm. academic details were asked and we also we were also asked to fill the details of the national level exam which we have cleared like right. what was the rank uh, the marks you, uh, you obtained all these things were asked Uh, so the last date was 4th november and on 16th november i received a mail regarding the shortlisting of my application form and mm. it was clearly mentioned in the mail that within one week duration we have to submit a sop uh, we have to submit right. a sop and in the same mail clear guidelines and framework was given uh for like how we should structure our sop so the guidelines right. were basically divided into five sections in section 1 right. we firstly we were asked to uh, write about our motivation uh like why we want to pursue phd our motivation and our research interest and in the second section we have to mention about our whole academic journey what uh, what subjects we have read in our bachelors in our masters and along with that if a candidate is also having any empirical or research experience then they can also mention that and in right. the third paragraph uh, we have to mention our current status like what exactly we are doing now suppose a candidate is applying right. for phd after a two or three year gap then what right. was what exactly he or she was doing in that period we have to mention that in the uh, third section and in the fourth section uh, we were required to describe our research interest in quite detailed manner our um, right. in which area we want to do, uh, we want to do research in and in the fifth and the last section we were asked to end our sop in a very it was mentioned that you should end your sop in a positive and optimistic manner that yes you are ready and you are prepared to pursue phd and you are ready to uh, face the challenges and so right. there was word limit was also there we were asked to you know write the sop in around 800 800 words was the word limit for sop and we have to submit it within the period of one week and later the interview schedule was uploaded on the website we do not receive right. any further mail uh, there was only single mail regarding the shortlisting and it was mentioned that the interview schedule will be uploaded on the website 
So right. there, the interview schedule was uploaded and the interview was scheduled on uh, 24th November at IIT Roorkee campus. So I appeared in that interview. Okay, so this so was the my Yes, so great. So my next question uh, uh, was there any written test uh, for other student or anything? Can you uh, say something about that? Is there any written test or not? So no, there was no written test. Okay, so there was only interview, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, how many uh, members were there in your panel? So there were three professors um, in the panel. Uh, three psychology professors were there. Okay, so okay, great. So, uh, what type of question they asked you, uh, and what was the uh, discussion during the interview? So, okay, can so, you uh, elaborate? So, so um, my whole interview went for around twenty-five to thirty minutes. I would say I don't know the right. exact time. It was uh, for around twenty-five minutes. So, uh, right. when I went there uh, in that room so firstly they asked me to sit and they asked me a very general question uh, that was uh, regarding my academic background they asked me to introduce myself and so after introduction they asked me about my research interest yes yes carry on carry on Okay, sir. I think there was an issue. So, uh, sir, the second question was about my research interest, like in what area I want to do my research and I want to pursue my research. Uh, so, uh, I told them that I want to pursue my research in cognitive psychology, right. and also, and I also um, give my uh, give the hard copy of my research proposal to them. So they just go through it, and one of the professor. Um, um, I just went through his profile. He was basically from uh, his research interest was in cognition, uh, cognitive psychology. So right. Nam hand over that research proposal to him, and later he asked me uh, questions uh, regarding uh, the uh, regarding the terminologies uh, right. regarding my research topic, the terminologies I used in my research topic. He asked me to define them, and later uh, uh, after the after the definition was over, he asked me, who was the person who conducted first research on this topic? Can you elaborate the theory, whole theory with example, right. with detailed example? He asked me to um, you know, explain that whole theory. So I explained uh, it to uh, him. Later, uh, very basic and very fundamental questions, which were subject, which were subject specific. For example, mm -hmm. uh, I read about attitude, attribution, and all these theory in my bachelor's. So they asked me to define attitude, and they clearly mentioned that define the major components of attitude. And right. I was, although I was not expecting that question, and uh, but um, it was more theoretical, and it, they asked very basic and fundamental questions. So right. they asked me to define attitude theories. They asked me questions from every domain of psychology. They asked right. me the formulas of statistics, like what, how okay. you can calculate Z scores. What is the difference between Z score and T score? And they asked me to quote a number of examples, set example, give some exa examples, uh, differentiating between raw scores and Z scores. And they right. asked me the name of various psychologists who conducted research on this topic. And they also asked me questions from organization psychology, from social psychology, from statistics, from cognitive psychology. So it was very more general and fundamental. They don't ask me very technical questions related to research. They don't right. ask me anything from my methodology and why I choose this topic. I was yes. expecting those questions, but it was completely Lovely. different. And but uh, if just... Uh, just one minute, but when you will appear for the interview like IIT Madras and IIT Bombay, so mainly they will focus on interview. Uh, sorry, uh, methodology section. Okay, they will focus. So that is very uh, basic for them. But that's why I was telling you that uh, uh, every department uh, has a different ideology, right? So the information you are sharing with my viewers, with my student, okay, definitely this will help you. But uh, the thing you have mentioned that is very important for the future aspirant that uh, 
you should have a clear knowledge about the fundamentals and basics. OK, so uh, sorry by like I stop you. So please go on. Yes, sir. So see the, they asked me everything whatever i have read in psychology till now every concept they were basically uh, they were basically looking for my conceptual clarity and my basic understanding to about my subject right they were not right. focusing on the research proposal they were focusing on my knowledge do i know what are the formulas of stats and uh, how we can so they were uh, focusing more on giving real life examples uh, for example right. He asked me about just explain in detail uh, one or two theories of attribution, like attribution is a concept in psychology, uh, which right. involves giving cause to someone's behavior. So right. they asked me to describe one theory in detail with real life examples. I have to quote one example relating um, that incident with that theory. So they were asking these type of questions. And I also mentioned they were fo majorly focusing on the words and understanding or um, my understanding of those words for example right. i used a word gender in my research proposal so right. the professor asked me you have used this word gender so why you have used this word gender and not sex and what is the difference between sex and gender right and they also asked me uh, about like what are the different tests which you can use to measure this particular thing that you have mentioned in your research proposal, for example, for cognitive psychology, why are you using this question I and not this performance test? So right. all these types of right. questions were asked. OK, so uh, my one uh, like one more question that um, what were they are expecting from a student? Just can you uh, brief it? Uh, okay. What was your experience that you have understood? So, uh, they are asking, they uh, trying to get something from the uh, student. So what was that? So what I think is they were looking for that uh, the clear understanding and the whether the basic understanding and the basic concepts of the student are clear or not. Or right. they have just mugged up everything, whatever they have read in their bachelor's and master's, whether they, whatever they have read, whether they are able to connect those theory with their real life or not. Right. Because they were asking for a lot of examples when I was explaining them any phenomena, right. they want me to relate it with my real life. Right. So got it. So uh, just uh, my uh, final question is that, so what was your overall experience that uh, that you have uh, got from the whole interview and you will suggest the future aspirant who will appear for the iit uh, rookie uh, interview for the for their phd okay so what was your experience and what you will suggest the future aspirant okay sir sir to be very honest i was not prepared for this rigorous interview i was uh, uh, I had that mentality that they would ask questions from my research proposal only and they'll ask about methodology and what research is and all these things. But the experience was completely different. Uh, they asked a number of they asked about a number of theories and a number of uh, psychologists, uh, which the theories which I read in my bachelor's. Right. And some of and most of us might not remember those theories, those names, yes. because we majorly yes. focus on our research proposal. So I was yes. not aware of this, but I will definitely suggest the uh, future aspirant that along with the thorough understanding of your research proposal, you should also go through your, uh, you know, the things, the theories, and about the names of the psychologists that you have read in your master and bachelor's. Because after clearing GATE and GRF, we most of us as a student we don't generally re go through those go through those theories we majorly focus on our research proposal but i would suggest we should revise them also right so uh Dipti, thank you for uh this information i think the information you have shared with uh, my viewers so this will help them a lot in future and thank you for this uh beautiful conversation thanks a lot thank you sir. thank you sir